How come you can talk about freely your constipation, but you won't even let me fart in my own home? Every time I leave the room, I hear you farting. You're always farting. Why can't you just go into the bathroom like a normal person? I'm a husband who likes to fart. And now, no. back to the Big Dumb Fun Show. Back on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Friend, fan, follow us on the MySpace, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Eventful, Tumblr, Reverb Nation. Or Google Plus. Or Google Plus. My name is Aaron. My name is Vankman. And I'm Rena. Rena's Entertainment 10 report is going to be coming up later in the show. She's got some news about sex tapes. Mm-hmm. Apparently, uh, we got some Carly Rae Jepsen uh, and uh, Mika, Mika Kelly. Kelly. They're all, they're all kind of come out with those. We'll find out uh, more about uh, And uh, my sex tape's coming out in about three weeks. Oh, so my be, be God. Why does it take so long to get a sex tape out? Are you post-production? Yes. I, well, I, you know what you <laughs> it's need? It's all in special effects. You, <laughs> 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 you, need, you need a, uh, a, a couch covered in green screen. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. That's exactly what you need. I feel like it's it's going to be like Avatar. You know, it's going to have the 3D <laughs> this effect. This show's stuff. title be awesome. should be like sex tape because when we started the show, we were talking about God who knows what happened on that green. That's true. That green cloth is what I want to call it. The green screen. It was the green screen. Green uh, something. No babies were made. Gently but there was a baby the, there. It was. Uh, d- gently draped and over the uncomfortable couch. And Carly Rae Jepsen. Yep. Minka Kelly. Yep. Kim Kardashian. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, we already knew that one. Paris Hilton. Oh, wait, we already knew that one. That's right. Uh, you know, a guy in the... Uh, uh, a guy named Chris is going to be coming up a little bit later. We did find out earlier in the show that he he may be seventeen percent Canadian, and we'll Whoa! find out exactly uh, get to the bottom of that uh, when he comes up on the show uh, like here in just a few minutes. Canada. Allegedly, allegedly seventeen percent. Seventeen is a pretty exact number, though. Is that He's got to be able rumor? to defend this. I is think that it's with the now. discount? <laughs> How do you determine seventeen percent? He's at well. That's a lot of calculations. In America, he's about maybe ten percent. Oh. listen, he's he's a hundred percent in America right now. Does he have <laughs> Does he have a passport? A we'll, green we'll card? Out. We'll see. Is he American citizen? I don't know. Is he a Canadian we'll citizen? We'll find all this. He's out. a member of the Communist Party. Oh, maybe oh, he's sorry. going paperless. Is he from Mexico? He's got some uh, news headlines uh, regarding the uh, the Penn State uh, turn back time. <laughs> And all that uh, crap that's going on. So, uh, but I want to talk more about uh, exactly what's going on with uh, Chick Fil A. I had a uh, a rather uh, steamy post uh, that I posted uh, shortly after uh, last week's show in regards to uh, freedom of speech and exactly what's going on with the the fine fine folks over at uh, at Chick Fil A. Now, uh, if if you weren't aware, Chick Fil A is a, a extremely uh, Christian based. Chicken provider, yes, because they're closed on Sundays. They're closed on Sundays, mm-hmm. right? So they, uh, which is, but they're also like a fast food. May I say, on a business perspective, yes, you may. Not smart. No, no, because you got to be open on Sundays. Because Sunday is the day that everybody gets out, and mm-hmm. since since and they, they want to get the chicken on, and Chick Fil A kind of caters to the healthy people, mm-hmm. in my opinion, and Think chicken so? with fried chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they have the Chick Fil A, the grilled chicken, and they have, you know, they cater to a lot of children and families, and it's. A long, a cheap meal, but not. It's cheaper than going to a restaurant. Hey, listen, if they want to be closed one day a week, that's fine. Uh, yeah, but it's not smart just the if fact you're that it's Sunday. A business person, in my opinion. But that's just like Hobby Lobby. They close on Sundays, too. Yeah, and the, the problem is, is that, of course, a lot of people are fans of Chick-fil-A, but a lot of them don't know exactly, you know, what the, what the company supports. And apparently the company supports a lot of... Uh, very, very strong right-wing uh, organizations. Uh, maybe what do you mean by right-wing? Like, uh, like, yeah, right like a wing, chicken wing. Yeah. Like a chicken wing. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> so, uh, Bingo wings? <laughs> Bingo <laughs> wings! Chick-fil-A Sorry. came out and said they're against gay marriage. Uh, they have an and, agenda. And they, they have an agenda. Um, some that's corporations wrong. I have think, an agenda, yeah, some of them don't. Yeah, that's, I, like you were saying, you know, I can't... It's to me like, like saying it's kind of bad, almost like bad business to have an agenda, to have be out there. You can say, you know, do what you want. Behind the scenes, if nobody really knows what's going on, but it's like as a business, you want to attract as many customers as you can. You know, it's just odd to me that they would, you know, but they then maybe they want they don't want all those customers. Maybe well, yeah, that, that, specific that significantly customers. takes a, a a numerous amount of people just because we're not and living in America, it's not an all white country. And if you start limiting to and you only cater to Christians, I mean, you're taking out a lot of Hindus, you're taking a lot of Catholics, you're taking out a lot of I don't even know what. It's, goes it's, it's, I think, I think Catholic, the, 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 Catholic's no, still no, Christian, isn't it? But the point of the matter is, if you look at America, it's not an all-white country anymore. 
well, at least. And but that's all Chick Fil A wants to serve is the all white meat country. I know, but then country. they're gonna <laughs> the all white meat. No, yeah. and the, the the president of the company, uh, his name's Dan Cathy, and uh, somebody asked him about gay marriage, and uh, and he said uh, guilty as charged uh, when he asked about his company's <laughs> support of traditional uh, family unit as opposed to gay marriage. He goes, "We are very much supportive of the family, the biblical definition of the family unit. We are a family owned business, a family led business, and we are married to our." First wives, we give God thanks for that. Uh, he's quoted uh, as saying, and then he kind of goes into more about how you know this guy is just anti-gay, and and uh, I, the the big fire, social media firestorm came out uh, of this, and of which a lot of people came out and they're like, I'm never going to a Chick Fil A. They hate gays. You they must not me. hate gays because you can get your Chick Fil A between two buns. You <laughs> mean you mean to tell me that all the people who work for Chick Fil A have never been divorced? Uh, no, no, no. I'm just saying that this is a family-owned company. They own every, It's not a franchisee. But they're idiots. They want husbands and wives. And they, that's fine, but they're idiots at the same point. I mean, I get that they have their thoughts and their opinions, but at the same time, you're running a business here, mm-hmm. and you've just lost. If you're just triggering towards Christians, you're losing your gays now, which are a, a big percentage of people, and a lot of women support gays, so you're losing a lot of women's. Women's, mm-hmm. a lot of women. Getting your women's in there. Uh, I just, I don't think it's so. Here's right. Here's to the deal. View that type of an opinion. I think it's absolutely right. I, I mean, I don't, uh, I don't. Not, not that I'm against gays, but I, I, I think it's right that a company has that uh, ability to not have to have that uh, idealism like behind them. And if they want to donate their privately raised funds to some organization out there, I think they should be able to do that. Now, just like I have the right not to go there and to go to the BK next door, the that's, devil worshiping Burger King. That's fine. Right next door. I have that right to, well, I, don't, I don't know what the big firestorm is They have about. the right to donate to wherever they want, but to, to call it out and say they're against gays in mm-hmm. general, I think is wrong just because it should be, worded differently and say this is just where we choose to put our charity or our income or our money it should be worded differently instead of saying we're against gays because there are so many people now that support gays and now the recent obama uh, like campaign mentioning that he supports gay marriages Mm -hmm. whether you think it's right or not it's honestly nobody else's business you only should worry about your family and what goes on within it's it's none of my business if A B C D over there wants to be gay with somebody else. True. Maybe they just got tired of serving gay people because gay people were coming in asking for those flame broiled chickens. <laughs> gay people still pay for their flame broiled chickens. True. That's that's one business <laughs> sense is that you can say, hey, and and they're not going to deny a gay person to come into the restaurant. They're just saying our political stance. Why you asked? I have no idea why they they asked, but our political stance is that. We are a Christian-based company, and we regard the family union as, as the, the biblical definition of family, which is not inclusive of gays. That's fine, but they can't That's live fine. in this box, and they can't cater to this box. They can if do they whatever they want. want. No, They're they a can't. privately-owned company. No, not...